As I mentioned in the first instructional video, there are a number of different ways of looking at an impressed presentation. Here we're looking at normal view, where we typically build our slides, add pictures, add sound, and generally build the presentation. Up here we have several other different ways of looking at the presentation. If you choose Outline View, you get simply a summary of the text on the slides. It can be quite handy for um, giving out to participants or for just simply entering your text into the, into the presentation so that you can format your slides later. Notes pages contain an area where you can add speaker's notes. That would be notes that remind you, the presenter, of what you want to say without putting it on the slide. So that you can have your notes in front of you, have a slide that just generally points to the topic you're going to elaborate on, and have notes to prompt you so you don't forget to say anything. And that points to best practices for presentations, where you certainly don't want to put all the words on, this, on the slide and then just read the slide to your audience. That really is deathly dull for your audience. We also have a handout view where you'll get small thumbnails of each slide and slide sort of view. When you have a long presentation with multiple slides, slide sort of view can be extremely useful for making sure that the flow of your presentation is logical. It's very easy to move slides around in slide sort of view. If I point to the selected slide here, slide one, See how I can drag it to whichever location I want it to be. So that makes it very easy to reorder your presentation if you feel like the logical flow has gotten off track. And it can as you build a long presentation. You can also right click any slide in slide sort of view, insert a new slide, delete a slide, give a slide a name, change the layout, hide the slide, give a transition, and you can cut copy. If we copy, and then we click here and paste, then that duplicate slide can either go before or after. In this case, we want after. And now we have, you see, agenda for today's meeting duplicated. Don't really want that, so I'll delete it. But you can see how slide sort of view is very, very useful for manipulating your slides in terms of cut, copy, paste, and move. And coming back to normal view, of course, the final view of any presentation is slideshow view, where the slide covers the entire screen. When you right click, you can choose previous, you can go to any slide in your presentation, or you can end the show.